Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and you're watching So Beauty Stuff. Today I'm going to do a full face of makeup using my favourite products, otherwise known as the Ride or Die tag. It's not an expression I personally use, but that's the name of the tag. So the idea of this tag is that you pick your favourite item, your Ride or Die product from each of the different categories, um, and then you do full face of makeup using those products. I am a little bit apprehensive about how this is going to turn out today because I've got a cold and I'm constantly sneezing and blowing my nose, so... I may have a big red nose at the end of this video. Okay, so let's just jump straight in. The first product is primer. So my absolute favorite product to use as a base is the MAC Strobe Cream. So I know this isn't necessarily um, a primer on its own. It can be used as a moisturizer, it can be used as a primer, it can be used as an illuminator. Um, it's actually all three in one. The reason I love this so much is because it's so hydrating. It's got vitamins in there. It's really good for your skin. It's gonna keep your skin really beautifully hydrated. Um, which is the best way to prime your skin before putting makeup on and obviously it's going to help you um, illuminate your skin with that strobing effect which is going to give dull skin that really bright appearance. So foundation, my favourite favourite foundation at the moment is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I'm really into this sort of natural glowy appearance and I think that this has an amazing formula. Um, it's really light, it's easy to blend, you don't need an awful lot of the product, it's very buildable if you do want a bit more coverage, um, and it helps your skin look very luminous. It says you're supposed to shake well before use. I've never read that before. Oops. Still works good for me. This is my Sigma F60 foundation brush. I love this just for applying foundation evenly across my skin. And then I'm blending with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. I've deliberately put a little bit of foundation on my lids because there's no um, eye primer in this list. Next up is concealer and I'm actually really really excited about this because while this is my favourite concealer I've had this sitting in my drawer for ages because I bought it once, once my other one ran out but decided I had some others I needed to use up. Considering it's my ride or die and I wanted to use it in this video I've opened it up now and I'm really excited because it's my all time favourite concealer and it is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I just love this product, I love it's got a really soft doe foot applicator, I just think the formula is really nice as it, the name suggests it's creamy. Um, it's got a radiant finish, it's really easy to blend, it's got amazing coverage, but it's not cakey at all, it's just, it's just my perfect concealer. I'm using the shade uh, Light 2 Vanilla. I'm using my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki to blend out my concealer today. I love the fact that it comes to this little point so you can get right into the areas of your nostril. And again, I'm just dragging that onto the lid a little bit, just so that um, I can prime for eyeshadow. This is kind of a weird tip, but um, hopefully some girls out there will appreciate what I'm saying when I say this. Like most women, I have uh, hair around here, but my foundation sometimes gets caught in it, so I like to take a small brush. This is a Sigma Precision Round P82. Um, it's basically like a small round top kabuki, and I just use this to buff around the hair to make sure if there is any um, foundation that's sort of clogged up in the hair. I'm smoothing it out and always rub down because if you start rubbing up you're going to coat the backs of the hairs and it's going to really make that hair stand out and the skin look really textured and we don't want that. Favourite face powder is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Um, I haven't come across a formula that I love quite as much as this. Um, it's so soft, it's so luxurious and the colour of the powder is sort of an off-white banana-y shade but not, not too yellowy. The fact that this is an off-white shade just really helps it to melt into the skin. Um, it doesn't go cakey, you can dust it on really lightly or you can even bake with it and your skin just still looks amazing. So of course I'm going to use my trusty uh, My Kitco 1.7. I just love this brush for um, under eye powder, it's so soft. So I just pick up a tiny amount and buff it in. My favourite bronzer, this is the first bronzer I ever bought when I first started getting into makeup and the only one that I've used all the way through, hit pan, thrown out, bought again um, more than once and it's the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I adore this bronzer, I think it's a great shade. I wouldn't say it's completely universal but it's pretty darn close. Um, I like using a big fluffy brush for bronzer, this is the Sigma Large Powder F30. Start in my temples, work up to my forehead and down to my cheekbone. I always bring bronzer really down my neck, um, particularly if I'm 
contouring my jawline just to help that blend. Now I wouldn't necessarily normally contour with this product because it's quite warm, but since we haven't got a contour option, I'm going to do that. So I'm just taking um, my Sigma F40 large angled contour brush. So for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Ambient Strobing Lighting Powder. Um, so I have a palette of the, the trio in my kit and I absolutely adore them, fell in love with them, decided I couldn't live another day without having one in my personal kit. Um, I decided to buy a single one. I chose the Incandescent Strobe Light, um, which is this sort of slightly pink champagne-y kind of tone to it. I think these highlighters are amazing. They don't have a heavy, heavy shimmer to them. They're not sort of as blinding maybe as others, but I think for that reason that some people find this not intense enough. But what I find is that um, in certain lights, when it catches it, it's so, so intense. So it just gives that really natural glowing skin appearance, but for everyday wear, and this is it for me. If I just sit still, you, it doesn't look, it's not, flying off my face, but if I turn and hit the light, it's really, really intense. Kind of Hourglass's speciality, and I just love this product. And I was using the um, Sigma Taped Highlighter, the F33 there. And now onto blush. This is Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. Um, so this, I mean, it's kind of the, the name's worn off and everything now. It's, it's actually kind of old, it's probably time for me to replace it. But the peach shade for my skin tone is just looks really really natural it adds that color because i've got quite a lot of redness to my cheeks anyway um i get flushed really easily sometimes those pink shades on me can look great but as soon as i get warm or i start getting any natural color in my face i can almost get that kind of um like flushed almost like i've been drinking kind of look to my skin um which you know maybe maybe that is the reason why i've gone red but um i don't want to look that way Whereas the peach is really natural, it just adds some colour back into my skin, but it still looks like my skin. It looks like my skin is just naturally a little bit more um, pigmented there. So this is the Sigma Take the Face F25. So I don't think it's actually officially a category, but you may be noticing that I'm um, pointing out every brush I'm using. And these are kind of my ride or die now Sigma is my ride or die makeup brush brand. To me, the ride or die tag kind of means if all of my makeup was destroyed and I had to rebuy everything, what would be the base that I would buy? What would be the, you know, one product for each area and the one brush for each area? And those are the ones I'm using. So that's why I'm mentioning my brushes. Next on the list is eyeshadow. So if you've watched my channel for a long time, this probably won't be a surprise to you, but my ride or die eyeshadow is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye. Um, as you can see, I'm hitting pan in one of the biggest shades in here. Um, this, I can use this for pretty much any eye look. I mean, yes, it's all mattes, and I do love a little bit of shimmer every now and again. But to be honest, I feel that I can get a really natural look. I can get a really bold look. I can get full glam, smoky eye. You've got, it's, it's a contour kit for your eyes. And you've got the warm shades, the cool shades, the neutral shades. I just think it's a great all round palette. By the way, I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush. And then this is my Sigma tapered blending E40. And there's no eyeliner in this tag, so I often use um, eyeshadow as eyeliner anyway. And I'm gonna highlight with the Hourglass highlighter. This is my time favorite highlight brush it's the um, Sigma E56 shader lid okay so favorite mascara is next I've worn a lot of mascaras in my life and you know mascara is probably one of the products that I switch around most because mascara is one of those products that I rarely ever get to use up completely before it kind of starts to go off um, this is the one that I just keep going back to I keep rebuying all the time and it's the benefit their real mascara I just I just love the formula um, it was actually quite hard for me to pick mascara, so I've got a couple of really good favourites, but to be honest, the fa my favourite thing about this mascara over the others is the end has got this kind of unusual pick you can kind of get right into the corner lashes, um, which you don't get with other mascaras. And I find I never get any clumping and it just makes my lashes pop. Okay, so for brow products, um, 
I may be semi-cheated on this because I picked two, um, but they do two different things. So I firstly got the Chi Chi Brow Pomade. Um, this I feel like is very, very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills formula, but a lot more affordable. The other product is Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now I've tried cheaper versions of brow gels and they do an okay job, but this one um, is by far my absolute favorite. It just sets them in place um, all day. All day, it doesn't. So I'm gonna be using a Makeup Geek Jewel Ended Brow Brush. Oh, I missed her on the floor. That easily, it can make this much of a difference to my brows. And then what I like to do is take the brow gel and I love that this has got a real good sort of suction on it so it really pulls off the excess product and I just really lightly rub it through, run it through my brows and brush all my brow hairs up. It lets you see that there are eyebrow hairs, like you have naturally full fluffy brows. So finally I went with lips. Now lips are really hard for me because I change it up quite a lot and lip products are probably one of those things that I've got the most of. I started trying to think of what I wear most often. So one of my more recent lips, lipstick purchases actually, but one of my favorite is the MAC Cream Sheen in Modesty. And this is just a really gorgeous pink nude shade. And I actually never intended on getting this. I, I did one of those back to MAC things where you take six products in and you can exchange them. And I just picked this one, I thought this looked easy wearing, and I've just fell, fallen in love with it. Because you can see my natural lip shade is quite pink. Um, and I just find that when you're wearing something that's a bit more creamy, it's so much more comfortable to wear. It's easy to top up, you don't have to worry about flaking. Um, and so this is almost mirrors my natural shape, a little bit more pink, and adds that moisture to it. And so sometimes I would wear a liner with this, but I don't feel you have to, which is why I didn't include a liner in my ride or die. And last but not least is a setting spray. It's not necessarily a setting spray. It has multiple uses, but I do use it to finish my makeup. Um, but I will usually use another setting spray as well. And that's MAC Fix Plus Spray. I just think this is such a great product you can spray on before and um, during or after makeup application. Um, it helps to just keep your skin hydrated. It's full of minerals really good for you it stops your skin from looking cakey from all the makeup and it helps your skin to be in the right condition for it to last all day so and this is the coconut one which smells amazing so there you have it this is my ride or die makeup full face using just my favorite products and um, yeah, this is kind of reflective of my everyday makeup, to be honest. This is the kind of look that I would wear most often. Um, I hope you enjoyed my products. I hope you like them. I'd love to hear down below if any of these are your ride or dies. Um, I will list all the products and the brushes that I used down below. I'm a Sigma affiliate, so the Sigma link are affiliate link. So if you're not keen on that, you can. You go to Sigma and just search for the brush yourself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I don't think you'd want to. So hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.